Good morning, everyone. Thank you again for stopping by. I hope this title gets you to watch this video. Because this video, I don't think it has been done like this before. So I'd like to share my thoughts and my knowledge. Tinkerbell's picking a fine time to eat her food right now. Uh, that's the crunching you hear her eating cat food. It's not me. I haven't started eating cat food. And I'm not going to. Anyway, uh, it's going to be starting off asking questions. By reading the Bible, and we're going to start with Moses. When he was given the Ten Commandments. Was he given a secret handbook by God to um, able to bring the uh, understanding of the people when they come to him with accusations about you know different things they had at that time when he was the judge between different issues no all he had was what he learned from God and and he was had the Holy Spirit upon him directing him he didn't need a secret handbook uh, when Jesus was on the earth, did he prepare his disciples to have a special book that no other person was allowed to have, only the disciples? No. All they had was the knowledge he gave them and with the Holy Spirit directed them to um, to put their thoughts and God's words in the Bible uh, under the the names that we know, you know, all the way from Genesis to the Book of Revelation. There was no secret handbook to be given to anyone that no other member in the congregations was not aware of. So my question is, if elders are really supposed to be directed by Holy Spirit to be in the same place as the disciples or even Moses, why would they need a secret handbook that their members are not aware of or cannot even touch it? I mean, you know, you would think the Bible would be too holy for anyone to touch, but it's not. Even a sinner is allowed to touch the Bible. The cows might be even agreeing with me on that one. So why is this handbook is so sacred that witnesses are not allowed to have this book in their own library to examine the judicial meetings about different subjects that if most of these things was in the Bible then why none of them have knowledge before they go in the back room what 
could be thrown at them without their knowledge. So the question is, people, were God allowed a secret handbook that only the leaders and the elders would know about? No, he wouldn't. The only secret handbook, it's not even a secret handbook, it's called the Bible. So, the way I look at it and examining the things I have learned since I've been out, these elders care about their rules and regulation in that secret handbook more than what it is in the Bible. Christ died for all our sins and he well let's put it a different way <clears throat> if this secret handbook of the elders was supposed to be better to forgive people for their sins and help them to to find into the hearts of these people through the secret handbook. Would that make Christ's sacrifice was worthless? If God all he had to do just kept the secret handbook that he gave to Moses all the way up to our time? Think about it. Or, let's look at it a different way. When the Pharisees and scribes had their own rules and regulation that was not equal to Jesus' teaching, and when he was basically tearing down their tradition, would that make that secret handbook of Jehovah's Witnesses? Something's made you wrong with it? Christ died for our sins. The knowledge he gave to all of us is written in the Bible. What we need to do and all of that. If these elders was really directed by Christ and full Holy Spirit, they would reject and tell Tinkerbell's playing around. Tell Watchtower we don't need a secret handbook because we are full of Holy Spirit. We don't need to read something, something that we already know and how to help when a person has been in abusive marriage, been raped, and many other things. They would already have this knowledge from reading the Bible and before the Holy Spirit would be directing them. So I hope this video will encourage you to examine is Jehovah Witnesses really inspired by God and are they really fulfilling what the first Christians in the first century was really was all about and what they're really teaching? I thought myself I knew 
what the Bible was really about when I was learning the truth at that time as a Jehovah Witness. And when I came out, and like I tried to tell people, whatever you learn, you have to trash every single thing you learn from Watchtower. Every single thing. Because if you don't, you're going to be holding on to false doctrines. And in your mindset, you don't know what's right from wrong. If you don't let go to all the lies of Watchtower. Even there was few I heard of that was battling by the blood policy. Should I take blood? They found out everything else. What we have learned, they realized it was lies. And when something came to the life and death matter, they was about ready to say, no, I'm not willing to take blood. Here's the thing, people. Think about this. When you rejected all the teaching, that I means you no longer want to be a part of Jehovah's Witnesses. To teach, to take that one teaching about the blood And say you don't want blood. That means all the th lies that you learn from Watchtower. You're letting that all of those teachings to come back to you. Tinkerbell is hungry again. So people. We all need to be spiritually directed of understanding the Bible and the real truth. <clears throat> If the elders cannot rely on the true Holy Spirit from God to teach them what is correct, how to shepherd the flock, the how in the hell can they take a book that was written by their leaders and thinking that book can give them more spiritual directed than the Holy Spirit. Now these things I'm giving you for you to think about and share with Jehovah's Witnesses. Because their new book they put out this year it's only more pages to protect their asses and their leaders' asses for all the crimes they have done in the previous Shepherd Flock books that has damaged the lives of innocent people and caused many of them to commit suicide and died by the hands of the secret Elders books it was written by those men and the way I look at it Satan can have a hand of helping them writing those books to keep all Jehovah's Witnesses to be completely brainless and brain dead on the tradition rules and laws of the religion from headquarters of Watchtower. Thank you very much, and remember, truth is more powerful than the lies of Watchtower. Thank you very much.